When you're trying to get rid of something really precious to you, say your favorite toy or a book, you feel really bad and it takes a lot of strength for you to give it up. But say you're trying to get rid of a dusty old photo frame, then you readily do it. Now just like you, even atoms have a certain affinity, if I'd like to say, towards their electrons. And to remove some electrons from the atom, it doesn't take a lot of energy. But to remove some other electrons, you need a lot of energy. Now, this energy that is needed to remove an electron from an atom to make it an ion is called its ionization energy. Now, you already know that atoms like to be stable. And for them to be stable, they need 8 electrons in the valence shell or 2 if you are helium. Now, if you take a look at the group 1 elements, all of them have 1 electron in the valence shell. So, it should be easier for us to remove this one electron when compared to a very stable element, say all the noble gases. Now, all the noble gases have a perfectly stable electronic configuration and they don't want to mess their already stable structure. So, for us to remove an electron from these, it needs a lot more ionization energy. If you want to remove another electron from an atom, then that would be its second ionization energy. And if you want to remove the third electron, then that would be its third ionization energy and so on. So, as we know, the atomic radius increases in this pattern in the periodic table, then the ionization energy increases in this way. Now, we know that electrons are negatively charged particles and they are attracted to the nucleus which is positively charged. And the strength with which they are attracted to the nucleus is its nuclear charge. And if this nuclear charge is more, then it is harder for us to remove the electron from the atom. So, higher the nuclear charge, higher the ionization energy. Here is a list of some ionization energies of a few famous elements. So, what have we learned in this video? We have seen what ionization energy is and how it varies in the periodic table. So, until next time, happy learning!